well here we are again new week and first thing i've got to say of course is that um we're back to ordinary boat building ordinary boat building i'm afraid we can't offer the excitement of last week again uh, so sort of one off sort of thing isn't it anyhow here we are in the boat shed as you can see kerry and i took the rollers out underneath you can just show down there kerry we took the rollers out underneath we've let her down on the floor we put a level inside the boat the thwart ships and long ways and made sure she was pretty much close to or pretty much on the bubble it's pretty much level so uh that's good in fact long ways is perfectly level i think the thwart ships was a, well, it was close close enough so we're pretty much on the bubble set up we put a couple of old car wheels fore and aft just to shore her up that much better so we did that of course the first thing we did before that was to put the front on the shed put the doors back on that kept us busy um, so that's what we've been doing then i've been around and i've trimmed up around the top of the boards all the way around planed it up so that i'm happy with the shape because we're preparing now to get the sides of the coach roof, the, the raised deck as it's called, preparing to get the sides of the raised deck coach roof on. And that includes another bit that comes on top of the shear, uh, shear clamp here. It's got to have another two inches on there, coming around all the way from four, all the way aft. Um, it comes on top of there. So it's set into all of these, obviously and he goes forwards, joins the stem, and joins the stern post. That means that it, it's obviously the ply that goes on the side of the coach roof fits to that. Another one comes in around there, another stringer goes around the top of the stern post there. And that gives us the angles for that ply. And one thing that's rather interesting about these boats is that you have a combing around the fore deck and around the aft deck. If you can look up, Kerry, it sort of sh comes around in a shape a bit like that. Sort of curves from there and then continues a good six, eight, eight inches high to forward there. And okay, around the raised deck or the coach roof, it's easy enough. We can see the angle. But this angle here, going forwards and at the aft end does the same thing, or well, the aft end is actually more pronounced. It twists a bit here, this angle here that's leaning in changes, if you turn around and look at the, the, the stem carry, I'll just walk forwards. When we come here, it's basically upright there. So, it, so we're going from upright at this end to that leaning in angle when we meet the coach roof here. And so that baton that's coming around here needs to twist to give us that angle. And if you come back this way, Kerry, uh, just stop there, that'll probably do you. Here it's more so, because here we've got that angle of the coach roof. And when we get to the stern post, we're le leaning out. So we're going from that leaning in angle at the coach roof to a leaning out angle at the stern post. That twist is coming in something like that. Same sort of shape of combing, comes down with a curve back to there. So that's going to be interesting. And that's going to be joined in, that all coming in, joined in with the size of the coach roof there. So that's the next job, I say, is, is to get these, these pieces of, of the shear clamp, another two inches of shear clamp around there at the right angle, another string around the top of the coach roof and get the size of the coach roof and these two combings on. That's what we're doing. Good. Kerry and I, we're going to cut now and then we're going to go in the boat. That's a little bit tricky because, as I said, I've trimmed up around here today. You saw a bit of video of that. And I've planed it all up uh, and put a bit of epoxy filler in there. And I did that today and it's a bit wet still, so climbing in will be a bit careful. But uh, we'll do that now. We'll cut, we'll climb in and uh, have a look around inside. Yeah, so here we are, we've got in. Um, this is what we've got to see. This in here is the, the, the four peak 
obviously big old bed coming in there big hatch coming around here so so i will basically right have a lot more height there um it's a 32 foot boat so it's not enormous uh, big enough though for purpose two settees coming down the sides one across there nav table coming against there um, if you look down you see the floor beams carry it's got virtually no bilge this boat so you've got no storage in the bilge worth mentioning um, basically got standing room though for, for a person of my size well between the between the deck beams plenty of standing room coming through we've got the head which will need a bit of thought fairly small but no, it's a 32 foot boat. Uh, big galley. Big galley. That's impressive, but that's good because I like cooking. So, um, should be building plenty of cupboards around in there and, and worktop, and should be able to get quite a bit of food storage in there, I think, if it's done well. And then looking through here, obviously, very nice big engine room. Uh, watch where you're treading there, mate. So engine room, fuel tanks coming in the engine room, start the battery coming in the engine room. The engine itself is not particularly big, so plenty of room in there. And if you look back from there, Kerry, behind the, the engine room bulkhead there, you can see the lazarette, which is quite a decent size storage of whatever fenders, ropes and stuff. So that's what we've got for the 32er. She's small, well, she's 32 foot. Big enough for a couple to cruise, no doubt. Um, and you know, we Karen and I cruised in a 32 footer before, and it was nice, nice size. Which is why I went for this size of boat. And uh, I'm looking forward to fitting her out. Well, it's one of those funny old days, really. Um, the state we're at, you know, I have a feeling that there's not much going to happen this week in terms of boat building. Um, and whilst that might not make for great video, in a way, it's, it's the truth. So it's got some benefit or some reason to show you it. Um, you know, we had the big exciting rollover last week and, and this week is a lot of thinking a lot of setting up, a lot of tidying up. I've just spent a fair bit of time in the other shed, which you can hardly move in at the moment. So just sorting stuff out, putting stuff away, tidying up. In here, as you know, I, I started off running around the shear clamp here. Was thinking about putting the next piece of wood around that shear clamp. And the more I think about it, the more I realize I've got to start with the deck beams, get those all running true so that I can get the right heights for this stringer that runs around the top there and then work my way back down from there so a uh, bit of a rethought there um, it's a strange week again all of the kids are away they're all abroad Kerry's off going off to Spain with his mate for two weeks Hazel's doing a RYA competent crew in England so she's starting on the RYA sailing track um, Elizabeth's been in England for the last two years. She's probably coming back next Tuesday. She's applying to for unis to get into unis to study naval architecture at the moment. So we'll see what happens with that. The other very weird thing that's happened is, is this morning. Um, sat there, Karen's going through chemotherapy, and uh, her hair was starting to go, and I shaved her head. So one of those things that you never think you're going to be doing in life, really. So that's where we are. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to start gluing bits on the deck beams and, and levelling things out today or if I'm going to go in the other shed and just do some more tidying up. We'll see. Just these 